This short presentation will give you a better visual sense of what we see when we examine a patient's live dental plaque sample under a microscope. This is a chart that shows diagrammatically what we're looking at and what we're looking for when we look at a plaque sample on the microscope. First of all, a lot of the slide is made up of uh, just kind of a, a bunch of goo that looks something like this. And when we look over to the edges that are a little bit more clear, then we can see the bacteria. Um, we'll often see uh, a lot of dot-shaped cocci bacteria that look sort of like this. Typically, there's going to be some white blood cells that are round and look like this. You can see the little granules moving around inside of the cells, which is kind of neat. There are certain things that we don't want to see that we know are high-risk kinds of microorganisms, and one of them particularly are spirochetes. Spirochetes are thin, wiggly, kind of worm-like uh, bacteria that shouldn't be, long, shouldn't be in the mouth. They don't belong in the mouth, and we don't want to see them on the slide. But you'll see what they look like live in just a minute and get a sense of um, what a live sample actually looks like. Here's a fairly typical looking slide. Near the center are two large circular objects. Those are white blood cells. Surrounding them is bacteria that you can see uh, in different forms. Some are little dot-shaped bacteria, cocci as we call them, short rods. Uh, you'll see some rods that are kind of spinning around. Um, this is a slightly active slide, not too bad. We'd like to see a little less activity in a slide like this. The more problematic bacteria are ones that are more motile and moving around a lot and we would prefer to see a slide where there's just not much going on and everything is pretty quiet. On the next slide, you'll see a, a slide that's a lot more active. So this is a very active slide, um, a, a very significant periodontal infection in this patient. What you're seeing in the screen here, a lot of motility. The uh, thin corkscrew-like um, uh, figures here are spirochetes. Spirochetes are uh, an organism that should not be in plaque at all. And when we find it, it's a red flag that we've got some significant infection going on. Uh, typically, we would score this slide by counting approximately how many spirochetes do we see in the field, how many red blood cells do we see in the field, how many uh, different kind of descriptions. Spirochetes are one of the things we particularly look for. and um, particularly a hallmark of significant periodontal infection. Now from the slide, we can't tell the species of spirochetes or the species of any of these organisms, um, but we get a sense of um, basically how nasty this slide looks. If we look um, over here, these long rod-shaped kind of still um, forms here that don't move around are yeast and also pretty common to find um, in a slide. Um, we don't want to see too much of it. So things that we look for are uh, high numbers of white blood cells, high numbers of yeast, high numbers of, of anything that seems out of balance with what we consider normal to be. In a slide as active as this, we're also going to often see what you're going to see in the next slide. So in a deeper pocket where there's a lot of plaque, uh, a lot of infection that's been going on for a while and a lot of spirochetes, it's not uncommon to see amoeba, which you're seeing in the field here. Here's two of them. Actually, this is uh, zoomed in just a little bit more. So these are slightly larger than they might appear on the field, but typically they're going to be the size of maybe one or two uh, white blood cells, that kind of scale. Um, you'll see some surrounding uh, spirochetes. Uh, clearly, amoeba do not belong in the mouth. They don't belong in the gingival pockets. This is a, a serious infection. And um, something you wouldn't know is going on in the mouth without having a, a microscope to be able to take a look at this. So the implications of this we'll get to later on, but I wanted you to see visually um, how dramatic is the uh, 
profile of what goes on in a sample of plaque. Amoeba are sometimes seen in an otherwise fairly healthy looking mouth with no deep periodontal pockets and no obvious clinical signs of periodontal infection. Almost always with these patients, on questioning them, they've had a history of travel to some third world countries or places like India, Southeast Asia, Central and South America. It doesn't even have to be recent. It could have been several years ago. These would be considered parasites. The patient may be totally unaware of them, but it's likely these are present in the gut as well. They are unlikely to show up on standard medical parasite testing. In our office, we would always refer these patients to a naturopathic physician or other holistic health practitioner to assess and treat them appropriately, in addition to our local periodontal treatment that we will do in the office and home techniques that we will teach the patients. Without this type of plaque microscopy evaluation, this type of infection would likely get completely missed.